Jazzy Greens, how are you guys doing today? This is February the 20 something on a Thursday. I'm on my way to Walmart. I want to go in there and just look at some of their spring decor and see what they have new coming out. So let's go ahead and get there. So I'll show you guys what they have. See ya. I think I showed you guys this before as I'm waiting for dinner because I'm going to have me a nice salad. So I'm going to show you guys that later. But I just wanted to show you this wall of all of the grandmothers uh, from our family that are no longer here. I think I did show you, but I'm going to show you my mother because hers is the latest one that I, you know, put up. And this was actually hubby's idea to add all the grandmothers on our wall of our stairs. So, I thought that was a nice idea. This is my daddy's mother. Her name was Mary. And some people say we look alike and I think we do. 
And this is my mother-in-law, Annie. Then here is my great-grandmother. Her name was Ethel. Boy, that's a real, that's a real long time ago for this one. <laughs> and here is my grandmother, Evelyn, who we used to call Ma. And then here's my mother. I just added her picture on here not too long ago. So she is the last of all the grandmothers that I'm putting up here. So I just want to show you guys this, but I think I did. I just didn't show you my mother's picture. So I've got a nice floral up there on the wall just to, you know, make it look real nice. But I thought this was really nice, you know, for hubby to think of this. Let me show you how it looks from a different distance. Okay, there you go. That looks nice. It's not that high up, but sure on camera, sure does look high. Good morning, Jazzy Greens. This is the next day, or one of the days. <laughs> I'm back at the post office to pick up another package. So I'm gonna open it real quick for you guys. It's just one little item. It's nothing super duper, but I just wanna show you what I got and I already know what it is. So you guys like my hair? This is one of my girlfriends. I call this the Goldilocks girlfriend. And she is so pretty. I got her from a beauty supply store here in my um my city so anywho i hope you guys are having a good day you know what this sweater this was my mother's sweater and it's not fitting too good on me it never does on this side because my shoulder is frozen what they call a frozen shoulder so whenever i wear it it doesn't hang on my shoulder that good but anyway i do the best i can to wear it wear it in her honor but anyway let me show you this real quick because i've got to go to dollar tree and pick up a few things there we'll see what they have at least anyway this came from amazon this package and here it is you guys probably can't see it because the sun it's a pill box container and i love it I got it off of um, a YouTuber's um, storefront, Amazon storefront. Um, her name is Yesenia. Let me see, what is her name? Ah, I can't remember. Oh, simply Yesenia? I forgot her channel name, but it's, it's Yesenia. And she sells these on her, in her storefront. So I went on there looking around and I saw this cute pill box. It's for it looks inside. I think it's so cute. I have to pull it back here because you guys can't see. Here is for the morning. Morning pills and here's for the nighttime pills. I think that is so neat. Morning pills and nighttime pills. And then it, it was under $10. That's all I know. But it's so cute. Can't wait. So when I go home, I'm going to take all my pills for the week. Place them in here. Thank you, Yesenia. I love her channel. She has, it's a um, vlogging channel. She does a lifestyle, cooking, family, um, shop with me. She does some uh, home decor as well. And um, I just like her channel. And she starts her channel off with a scripture of the day. No, no, I'm sorry scripture or prayer for the day she'll pray so i think that's so nice what a way to start your your vlog right isn't that neat so now i'm going to dollar tree so i don't know if i'm gonna pick up the camera in dollar tree probably won't not unless it's something that strikes out at me so anyway guys i'll see you later 
Okay, after the post office, I decided to stop in this beautiful nail salon and get my nails done. And it is so beautiful in here. Um, I was so happy to come in here. It's not um, the salon that I really wanted to go to, but, you know, I wanted to try them out. And here are my nails. They did okay. I mean, it, it, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's not the best that I've had. And, um, you know, what can I say? They're done, and I just have to try to be happy with them, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, anywho, that's, um, that's how they turned out. I'm back home so let me go ahead and do a small haul I bought some things for spring and I just want to share with you what I got so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna first start off with the signs now Dollar Tree has some very cute really cute signs and I don't even know why I bought anything because I have some things in the garage that you know I probably would use but I don't really like to decorate too much for spring you know i don't really do too much easterish stuff because i deal with uh the resurrection of jesus christ but pretty much spring is what i do so anywho the first little sign is this one here it is so cute i love it i love the colors i love the little galvanized um little bunny there easter blessings so I kind of wish it had uh, spring blessings. I like spring better, but you know, this is cute. A little Easter egg. And this one I love. It says love too. Cute little sign there, the little bunny. They have these type of things, a little bit different colors. Love, they have faith, they have hope. So I just, you know, I didn't want to get all three. This is too much, but I decided to get love because love is you know what we need more of anyway love and for an outside sign i love this one welcome isn't that cute i love the little bunny and the little flower there so little eggs and it's just wooden on the back but these are so cute i love dollar trees the little signs so cute okay here we go with the bag so sorry for the roughing of it then I picked up these large gold eggs. How cute is that? Pack of four. These are really cute. You could put some candies in them or whatever you want, but I'm not gonna put anything in mine. I'm gonna be decorating with these. So you guys will see in upcoming videos. Then, I don't know why I picked up another one of these. I probably don't need it, but just in case I can't find this one in the garage, I just picked up one pack of those. Uh-oh, now my bracelet is attached to this one. <sighs> then I picked up two of these cute little steaks, the little carrots, isn't that cute? I have two of those. Two of these, I should say, not those. And that's how it looks. So that's going outside somewhere on the porch. So this one is bent, so I have to fix it. But anyway, that's gonna look really, really cute. Then I got some storage bags, you know, things you use in the kitchen, store your food in, whatnot, whatnot. I've got two of these, because we go to these a lot. You know, now my, my son is cooking his food now, so he goes through them more than I do. So I had to get two of them. Next, I got two, if I can get it out. 
Uh, two bottle brush, little springy things, little trees, one in pink and one in green, lime, no, it's not lime green, it's like a mint green. They are so cute. I like this one because it has a little, um, what is that, garland around it. Isn't that cute? It's gonna make a great little um, decor. Like maybe I might do a, uh, what do you call it? Some little tray setup or something. You guys will see when I figure out what I wanna do. Then I picked up some hand towels and pink, pink roses. Isn't that cute? I like these, really pretty. They didn't really have too many other um, patterns or anything but this one, so I just picked up two. I think everybody bought everything out and I'm always the last to pick up things anyway in stores. I don't know why I'm always the last. And then I saw these and I said, oh, how cute, little carrots. You know, this will look really cute into something that I will be trying to figure out when you guys see it, you'll know. Next, I got these little, this little rope string of, um, I guess you call these beads and it has a little tassel on the bottom cute and then a little what is that a little bird a little birdie cute 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 it's actually a garland that's what it says it says wood garland a jute garland so I was gonna get two of these but I said no just one is enough one's enough and then I went into the aisles where they had all of the mugs. Now, I, you, know, you guys know I love, love mugs. It's almost like I can't even resist. And I'm looking over at Hubby because I thought maybe he was going to look at me when I said I got another mug. <laughs> and yeah, he's looking at me. This one is the little monogram L on it for Liz. You know, I had to pick it up. I started to get him one, you know, for S for his name, but I think he likes the larger mugs, larger than this. So I said, well, I won't get one, not unless he changes his mind, but I'm gonna have my coffee in that. So, and it has the letter on both sides. And I hope when it's washed, which I didn't think, I hope it does not rub off, it better not. Otherwise, Dollar Tree, you gonna be in trouble. <laughs> okay. Then I picked up this little cute house decorative little piece there which is gonna go somewhere you guys will see I just think that's so cute they had different little ones they had different designs and everything so I didn't know which one to get so I picked up this one next then I picked up some little grass Oh. oh boy, leaning over, please don't lean. Then I picked up some grass. Now, a lot of people use this for your Easter bags and things like that, but I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with it. It won't be an Easter bag though. But anyway, we'll see. And isn't he adorable? He's just relaxing, little frog. That's how it looks on the back. It looks like a snail on the back, but I thought it was cute. Because I have something in mind. That's why I'm picking up these few little cutesy little things. Now the next few items are just um, miscellaneous things that I needed, but I'm gonna show them to you. Okay, I've got some mailing envelopes and a large pack, pack of five. And then I have an individual one there to like put some something small in. And I picked up a pack of thank you cards. These are really, really pretty. It says thank you and it's blank on the inside. 
and it has a pretty pretty flowers and these are the flowers this looks like the flowers that I have in my mother's uh, memorial type bouquet that I have so I got that and the last thing I picked up is some more hand soap now I don't know if you guys have ever tried this this is the creamy milk and honey moisturizing hand soap this is okay it's not the best of course um, it's not it doesn't lather extremely well but it will lather so um, it's not that bad it's cheaper than going into you know the stores you know probably it should have went in there I probably would have came out better but I didn't want to spend that much money but it works pretty pretty good you just have to know how to apply it you know you have to make sure that the water is warm enough and really rub your hands if you rub your hands real good it does lather up really good at least for me it does now my family may say otherwise but you know it's it's an art to washing your hands so anywho that's it so <laughs> okay real quick i just had to get me a quick cup of coffee in my new mug you know i just could not resist Woo, coffee is one of my favorite drinks. <laughs> Now I'm going to do a review, a quick review on this cooling blanket that I received from this company who reached out to me and they asked me what I do a review uh, in exchange of them sending me this blanket. So I said yes. So here it is, nicely boxed and it says, I can't think of the name of the company right now, but if you're interested, I will try to find the link if I still have it and the name in my description box. It's a cooling blanket and it says, sleep soundly in the cool fresh. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, ah, oh, this is my first time opening it up. I gotta be careful guys, cause I got my nails and I do not want to break them. Okay. Okay, here it is. Ooh, okay, it opens up real nice. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it is cool. Oh, shoot. It's falling out of my hands. Okay, it's somewhat folded up it's it was just kind of folded up like at a, a swirl twirl type thing but it feels really really soft and it is very very cool I'll let you see what it looks like in just a second it's just a plain gray here's the material right here and it's very 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 cool just like the box says and it has a little line of white around the edges guys can see that all the way around and um, let me see what else it has these little indented type circle type things on on the material of it so this is what it looks like and there's really nothing much to it it's just like it says a cooling and it's gray it looks like, I thought it was gonna be blue, but I guess it's gray. And let me get my glasses and see what I can read about the tag, see what it says. This is what the tag looks like. It says, cool, sleep soundly in the cool fresh. And the size, let's see what the size is. It 
It's a 79 by 91. Okay, and the fabric is 100% nylon, filled with 100% polyester, that's inside. And it's made in China. And that's the name of the blanket. It's called Cooling Blanket. Wash, cold wash, gentle cycle, tumble, dry low, do not iron, do not dry clean, and do not bleach. Now, let me see. It doesn't say if it's made for a particular size, like full size. Let me read it right quick and see if it shows that. Okay, it doesn't say if it's gonna fit like a full size, queen size, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna put it on my bed right now, but I just want to show it to you right now. Maybe at a later date, I might uh, show it to you. But let me try to give you a little bit more of it. It's just a plain gray. And it has a little line all the way around the edges like I showed you. I like it. It's thin, like I said. It has a little plushiness to it, but not thick. It's very thin and very cozy, you know, very warm. Not warm, but cool. So this would be perfect for the summertime. If you want to feel nice and cool in your bed or maybe in a chair or even on this couch, you know, I might use it as a little throw type thing, you know? So I forgot to show you the last thing to this review is a nice bag to store this really nice um, blanket into. So just a white plastic bag and yeah. And it has a little drawstrings right here to tie it up. This is wonderful. I think this is a really, really nice uh, blanket. And it says cooling blanket. That is super cute. Okay, guys, I had this spread it out on my little bit of the ottoman in my living room and the floor. I didn't want to put it up on the bed. This just gives you an idea of what it will look like on your bed or wherever you put it you know i think it's really really nice i can't wait to try it um like i said it's so cool when you touch it it's not even warm this would be perfect for you know the summertime so this is pretty much how it uh stretches out i don't have it out completely but just gives you an idea so i just want to share that with you so this would be really really nice and what I like about it is I like these little circle things. I don't know what you call them, but I like that. Just a simple gray blanket, cooling blanket. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the summer. And that's what it would look like on top of a pillow. You guys should try this. I would highly recommend it. Just, I haven't even tried it on my bed, but just by touching it right here and feeling how cool it is, you guys will like this. So give it a try. So I just wanna thank the company. I forgot your name, so I can't speak it out at the moment, but thank you so much for asking me to do a review on it. I hope I was satisfactory in doing this. So that's it. So, okay, guys, I will talk to you later, whenever later is, okay? I haven't decided where I'm going to put this, though. I don't know if it's going to be on my bed or this couch here. So, who knows? Got to stay tuned and see. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you do, please subscribe if you're new. Hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video because it does help my video. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And welcome to the channel. Thank you guys. You have a blessed day and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.